All right, we are good to go here. Hi, Seminole State family. This is Nicole with the library. And today we are going to find out who is Claire A. Miller. And of course, joining us today is... Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Claire A. Miller. I'm a librarian here at Seminole State College. Okay, so Claire is one of the, uh, in the team of librarians that is staffing all the great services and help with the resources that's available to students, faculty, staff alike. Uh, a few weeks ago, we interviewed Kelly Pate. Now, um, we started out by asking Kelly um, to just introduce herself a little bit. Um, Claire, tell us a little bit about yourself and narrow in on your professional history, uh, what kind of where you were before you came to Seminole State, things like that. Absolutely. Um, well, I got my master's in library science from the University of South Florida over in Tampa. Uh, my first job right out of library school, I was a cataloging librarian for a little tiny Catholic school that you've probably never heard of called the Blessed Edmund Rice School for Pastoral Ministry. Uh, from there, I worked at Sarasota, uh, the USF at Sarasota Manatee as a visiting instructor librarian. And then I ended up over at South Florida State College for the past six years. And I just joined the Seminole State family back in February. So I am, I'm the newest member, I think, of the team. Yes, yes, you are. And it feels like it's been longer than <laughs> just a few months that you've been here um, because you've really accomplished so much and you've really added so much to the team. And I want to point out, um, and I know you have told us this before, that at... Uh, at, the, at your previous um, college? I'm sorry, it was South Seminole? Sa I mean, South, yes, Florida. South Florida State College, which is okay. located in the middle of the state. It's south of Orlando, but north of Lake Okeechobee. Okay, and my understanding is at uh, South Florida that you did a little bit of everything, is that right? I did, I was one of only two librarians. We covered four campuses and um, about 4,000 students. So that kept us very busy. Um, I ran our uh, LibGuides. I did um, all of the programming and marketing and about half of the teaching. And it was, it was a lot and it was really fun to get to try a bunch of stuff and wear a lot of different hats. Um, and I'm very, very proud of the work I did there, but I'm excited to be here and to get a chance to specialize a little more and dig a little deeper rather than wearing 15 hats at once. Okay, so at Seminole State now, since you get to wear less hats, what is your favorite hat at Seminole State? What oh, is your favorite service? My to favorite hat. Um, my favorite hat is still probably helping students one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I love doing instruction. I love doing marketing. I love doing resource gathering. I love doing a bunch of different things. But that moment where the student is having a research problem or they can't find what they need, and then we find exactly the right source working together, that is just the best thing in the world. It's my favorite moment. Awesome. Um, now, speaking of moments, um, can you pinpoint a particular moment in time, an uh, event, an experience that led you, and maybe there's a couple, that led you to become a librarian? Oh, well, that's, that's kind of a boring answer, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> okay. um, so uh, my then boyfriend thought he was going to be a librarian and he was taking a class like an introductory survey to library science. And after that class, he decided he did not want to be a librarian. And he looked at me and he said, but you would really like it. And I said, really? He goes, yeah, you should take that class. You would really like it. I said, hmm. And at the time I was working as a secretary, which is a noble job but I was bored out of my mind. Like I organized everything, the files were working perfectly. I just sat there <laughs> waiting for something to go wrong so I could fix it. So I was like, well, clearly this is the time to go to grad school. Uh, so I did, I took the introductory to library science class and I was absolutely hooked. Um, organizing information, helping make information accessible to people, uh, the kind of joy of being able to find the information people need that is that is good stuff for me and I, I think it's interesting that you um that you use that phrase of like uh you were you had nothing to figure out or you were bored because there was nothing left to solve like you'd already solved the problems and 
I think a lot of students have, uh, in faculty and staff, if they think about the times they've approached a librarian in whatever manner, whether it be on chat, on the phone, in person, they brought a problem, right? It's always a problem, yes. uh, which is fine and it's great. We're not saying it's a, that's what we live for. We want to solve your problem. Usually it's a puzzle. It takes some detective work and that's what we thrive on is interacting with all those things. And of course, um, the organization side of it, we know where everything's put. And if we don't know, we know how to find it. <laughs> so that's exactly. Awesome. Yeah, so the, the puzzle aspect of it and the kind of connecting information, which is really cool with people's need for information, like making those two things mesh is complicated and difficult and it involves both people skills and information skills and I love it. Yeah, and I think on, on those points, I think uh, sometimes people underestimate um, the how organic each interaction is like how it's it's unique it's very unique it depends on the person everything so um so i'm glad that you enjoy it i can tell because uh once again claire has been only here for a few months and she's just jumped in feet first and before i ask you the ne next question i want to toot your horn because i will tell you claire um is the the most um i don't know if there's a vocabulary word for it and if there is you probably know it an anti-procrastinator like whatever it means to be because we'll have a meeting or a discussion or a casual chat and we're like we we should do this we could do this and then the next thing you know claire's like okay we're doing it i just started it what how do you want to help i figured it out so it's really been awesome it's really been great thank you um, nicole i, I, it's I have sure. to admit i'm not good at waiting i i want to start solving the problem right away and Sometimes it gets me into trouble, but a lot of times it just gets things moving and it can take a while to solve the problem. But once things are rolling, it's good stuff. Yep, absolutely. Um, so obviously uh, now a lot of our services and the way that we interact with students and helping them with their puzzles and problems and everything is online. Uh, pretty much now everybody interacts with the Canvas platform, whether online classes or hybrid classes. Uh, and there is a Canvas dashboard that we all know. And um, there's an area on that dashboard. Uh, it's very rare that a message is posted for literally everyone at the college to see. If you had the opportunity, Claire, one opportunity to post something on that Canvas dashboard for everyone to see in the whole college, students, faculty, staff, what would you put there? Oh. So it sounds like a digression, but I really, so a couple years ago, there was a marketing campaign about how librarians were superheroes, right? Because we know the answers to questions you didn't even know how to ask, um, which is not quite true. It's like we find the answers to the questions or we help you find the questions, answers to the questions. Um, but something something about asking a librarian like we solve questions or we answer questions have questions come see a librarian um i'm a big believer is that everybody secretly needs a librarian and most people don't realize it um because fundamentally what this job is about it's finding using storing organizing and synthesizing information and everybody needs one of those, at least most most of the time. Um, so I, I worry a lot that people don't realize that there's help for them, that students don't know that when they're struggling with a research assignment, that we're happy to help, we're thrilled to help. We would really absolutely love to help you with that particular problem because we're puzzle solvers and we would like to solve that problem. So I think some, something like that. I haven't quite worked out the wording yet. But okay. that's, the, that's the gist I want to get across. We'll start making some notes because just in case <laughs> like we can get it done, we, we might need exactly what you want to put on there. Right. And I can't procrastinate because you've, you've already said that I'm not a procrastinator. <laughs> no, I, I put it out there. So now you have no, no excuses. Um, and I think and kind of um, springboarding off your point there, it reminds me of the cliche the uh, librarians sometimes or teachers throw around even um, that there's no like bad questions. Yeah, and it really aren't. And, 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 and I think people think, oh, you're just saying that, but mm, no, because a lot of times 
it, people come up, a, a, a student, they won't even know what to ask. But like you said a minute ago, you, a librarian can help you figure out what question you're trying to ask. Yeah, or what piece of information you really need. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a thing, as Nicole knows, that you learn in library school called the reference interview. And that's sort of this process of talking through what somebody actually needs, what kind of information they need. Um, and it's it's one of those overlaps between information need and people. And I just, oh, it's good stuff. So even if you think you're like, oh, this question isn't really what I mean, but it's something, something is better than nothing. And we want to help you get to your correct answer. We want to help you solve that information need. Yep. And that reference interview, that's something that um, Google, Wikipedia, or any other uh, search engine cannot do for you. <laughs> oh, they can't. Told. And if you've ever mm -hmm. tried to find a piece of information and spent 15 minutes typing different things into a search box and getting zero results, you probably need a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, and I will yes. say, it's not that it never happens to librarians. Mm -hmm. I, I got stuck in a Pinterest hole the other day. I couldn't find what I wanted. And I, it took a long time. And I eventually got there. Eventually got there. Okay. I, my professional hat is still on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a different way of thinking. Okay, so for um, these very personalized services that you offer, Claire, um, when when are you usually manning chat? Do you have a is there kind of a I can always uh, yeah, post I'm, we'll post on Facebook. I'm but. on chat. Uh, I would say on a regular schedule Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons right now primarily, and I cover the Friday afternoon shift from eleven to one. Um, but that may be shifting in the fall term. We always are kind of up in the air. Of course. But if you want to speak to me specifically, probably the best way is to either make an appointment. Uh, which you can find. Hang on, I had it written down. I will post after this video post to the timeline on Facebook, I will post a link to your specific uh, meeting uh, um, online appointments page. And I'll post your email, your work yeah. email, and I can even post your phone extension because if somebody wanted to pick up the phone and call you, they'd be yeah. welcome. And to I, do that. I am answering phone calls even from home. Uh, it, it, we've got a fancy little toy that sends my work call straight to my cell phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm happy to talk with you. I love helping people solve puzzles and that's, that's the best part. Okay. So we'll post all of Claire's contact information. Um, we'll give you an update of when she's on chat at times. Of course, if you're not sure, you can always pop into chat, which is on the um, library's uh, homepage, also a virtual mode guide which the links to that are, are on our, um, if you Google Seminole State Library, that's like the easiest Pops way to right find up. our page. And you just piggyback off everything, all the links. And um, so thank you for joining us today, Seminole State family. Claire, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for interviewing me, Nicole. And guys, even if I'm not on chat, the rest of our librarians and staff are fabulous and you should hit them up. Don't feel like you have to wait to talk to me. No, so but I now that they, but now that they know you, you they know, do, they you do know. <laughs> yeah. I'm delightful. Nicole's delightful. Kelly's everybody's delightful. So. Yes. But this is nice because we get uh, people get to meet us and like see like who it is. And then you don't you don't have like usually have to come into the library and be like, who are these people? Well, now we just put everything online and you know us. Yeah, um, now you know us. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Of course, we'll see you sometime soon. We'll have something else going on and we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you again to Claire. And in the meantime, until we see you next time, Seminole State family, be well. Be well. Goodbye. Bye.